Um, I just wanted to say a little something. Um, and first of all, I wanted to thank everybody for coming here and showing support. I really appreciate you all, especially those who help with the GoFundMe and the service and stuff like that. Um, we're here in memory of my dad, and I, lo I loved him so much. When I was growing up, I, I used to look up to him, and I really wanted to be like him so bad. And as I got older, we had a lot more arguments and disagreements, but no love was ever lost, at least on my end. And um, as I got older, I started to realize my dad's pain and hurt and his difficulty with letting things go and expressing himself. I've learned a lot from him, good things and bad things, and things not to do myself even good things from bad experiences, from bad experiences, but this experience is so bad. And I hope I don't offend anyone with what I'm about to say, but this will, pro this will probably be the most important thing you might ever hear. On the day I found out my dad was dead, I didn't wake up thinking that I was gonna lose him. And I'm sure he didn't wake up that day thinking that was gonna be his last day. It's very rare that someone knows when they're going to die, but we will all die. And many people believe they can go to heaven by doing good things. But God is a just judge, and no sin can go unpunished, and no one is innocent. In a court of law, a criminal doesn't get set free for saying sorry. And they don't get set free because of the good things they did in life. God will be judge over our sins, not our good works. Isaiah 64, 6 says, our good works are like filthy rags. We tend to think we're good people, especially when we compare ourselves to other people. But we all fall short when we compare ourselves to the creator of all who is holy and perfect. The payment for sins is death and separation from God. There's nothing we can do of ourselves to be saved. But God is merciful, and he loved us so much. That's why he became man and lived the life we couldn't live. He was tempted in every way that we are, yet he did not sin. And he willingly died the brutal, shameful death that we all deserve. And why did he do this? Because it's the only way. Jesus is our only hope. He paid our debt in full, a debt we can never pay. And all we have to do is accept the free gift of salvation. I give you my word that your sins will be paid for no matter what. I have seen and I have tasted that the Lord is good. Either you pay for them for eternity or you let Jesus pay for them. In him we have our hope. Not only did he die for us, but he raised from the dead, proving he was who he says he is. And this is not an empty claim. I can't be up here all day, but there's historical, prophetic, and many evidences he provided as well. But I beg you to think about this soberly. Do the research yourself. Your eternity depends on it. We all will die. My dad was 49 years old. He's gone from this earth, but he has an eternity ahead of him. Not a thousand years, not a hundred trillion years, but in eternity. I believe I preached this message to him clearly, and I pray God has mercy on his soul and that he accepted it. I pray he understood and accepted God's free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so whoever believes in him will be saved. And if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you also will be saved. God is faithful and he does not lie. We don't have a soul. We are a soul. We have a body. And though our bodies die, our souls will live on forever. The question is where? And that's it. Amen. Amen.